welcome to this video again and this video will be going to explain this particular problem so what this problem is saying let us first see that so in this problem if a vector is given a equals to rho into cos phi a rho plus sin phi a phi okay uh, basically this deals with a cylindrical coordinate system but we'll see what how to do that and evaluate a dot dl okay so evaluate a dot dl means close line integral of the vector around the path shown in the figure so the figure is given here and the bold line you can see here this is the path so it is asking that you have to do the line integration over the closed line on this path and confirm this using the stokes theorem first we have to find the line integral and then we have to find the same thing in the stokes theorem and we'll see that uh, whether it is satisfying or not okay so now to find the closed loop integral of the closed loop integral of the line l so i consider the complete line is l the bold line a dot dl so how do you find that i can break that into separate parts so what are the parts here so this is part 1 this is part 2 this is part 3 and this is part 4 okay we can break that into separate parts so now i'll break into first part is a to b okay plus second part is b to c so b to c plus third part is what c to d third part is c to d again last part is d to a so last part is d to a so with all this integration what you have to do we have to do the line integral a dot dl this that's how you find the closed loop integral okay so here what i have done is the complete line this bold line whatever is given we have break it into break it into four parts that is a b b c c d and d a okay so let us see how do we find the integral first let us see along a b path okay let us see what happens in the a b path so a b path integration is integration of a to b a dot d l we have to find so now to find this d l so what is the d l for a b so for a b your d l is equals to what rho into d phi a phi okay so in a b so see what is the differential length here so this differential length is nothing but the angle here so the differential length is the phi in the phi direction okay so in the cylindrical system it is rotating in the phi direction so here the differential length is phi and the differential length is taken as rho into d phi and the direction is a phi and in this what is constant so you see throughout this line one thing is constant that is the radius right so that is radius is constant so for here your radius value is equals to how much radius is 2 how i am getting radius is 2 so see here this 2 is given here so this distance is nothing but your rho so that rho is constant here so again how do we find that so that is equals to now uh, that implies a dot b sorry a to b a dot dl is equals to integration of what integration of rho into sin phi that is given in the question rho into sin phi a rho plus sin phi a phi okay so now if i integrate this you see so here sin phi is there sorry here cos phi and sin phi is there okay sorry not like this uh, i missed one step here okay so to find the a dot dl so what will what will be a here so a is nothing but only the component which is along the phi direction okay so here the phi direction component is what sin phi a phi is the component in the phi direction okay so again that means your uh, sorry your a dot dl for a b will be integration over a to b okay rho into sin phi d phi why rho into because here the differential length is rho into d phi so rho into d phi sin phi d phi okay and in integration what will be the range so a to b so what is the range here you see so this range starts from here right so it starts from what starts from 60 degree so this angle is given 60 degree so the first range starts from 60 degree up to what degree 30 degree so here it is 30 degree so see this angle this point is at angle 60 degree this point is at angle 
30 degree. So that's why it is taken as 60 degree to 30 degree. And the integration of sin phi d phi, so what it is? So it will be how much? Rho is how much? Rho is 2, okay. Rho value is 2 and integration of sin phi is minus cos phi. So, once you do the integration, so here I can directly write the limit value, not no need to write like this. So, you can directly write 60 to 30 degree, okay, after the integration. So, that will be equals to how much? Minus root 3 minus 1, okay. So, this minus sign will come out. So, then it will be root 3 by 2 in 1 by 2, 2, 2 get cancelled. So, root 3 minus 1 is the first part, okay. So, now let us uh, take this one and we will do the second part as well. Okay. So, the second part is what? B to C. Okay. So, how do we find the B to C? So, second part is finding A dot DL for the B to C segment. Right. Now, for B to C segment, what we know? So, see this is the B to C segment. Okay. So, in the B to C segment, we know what is constant? It is constant at angle of how much? 30 degree. Okay. And what is the differential length? Differential length is what? Here differential length, it is in the row direction. Differential length will be simply D rho A rho. Okay. So, that is why you have to take the row component of the given question. Right. So, now here what will be, what value of A will be taking? We will be taking rho into cos phi. So, see here, this is the rho component, so rho into cos phi, okay. So, rho into cos phi. So, now the integration will be what? The value from, so this point is what? This point rho is 2 here. So, it starts from 2, rho value starts from 2 and rho value here is up to how much? 5. So, here 5. So, this integration of rho of cos phi and d, d rho. Right, so D rho and DL is the D rho here. Again, that is equals to how much? So that is equals to we'll take cos phi is constant. That is phi is 30 here. So cos of 30 and integration of rho is rho square by 2 and over the limit of what 2 to 5. Okay, so that will be equals to how much? Now it is uh, root 3 by 2. So rho square you have to put 25 minus 4 21. So it will come as 21 root 3 divided by 4. So, this is a simple calculation you can do. Okay. So, next is what? Next is to find the, uh, okay, I will take this again to next page, to find the CD path. Okay. So, here we will find integration of what? Integration of C to D A dot D L. Now, in integration of C to D A dot D L, we need to know what is the components here. So, here you see this is like this. Okay. So, C to D. So, what is constant here? Rho is constant. Rho is how much? Rho distance is how much? 5 is given. So, here rho is 5 and D L is what? D L is rho into D phi A rho A phi. Okay. So, this is the D L here. Right. Now, the integration of C to D over A dot D L will be equals to range starts from this is 30 degree, this is 60 degree. This time we are going in this way. So, here 30 has to be written here and 60 has to be written here. If you see the first one, it was the reverse case. 60 was here and 30 was here. Okay. So, this one integration of rho into, so why rho, uh, which one I am taking? So, see here we have to take the phi component here. So, phi component is there and the um, differential is in 0. So, it is sin, uh, sorry, rho of cos phi, sorry, sin, rho of sin phi d phi. So, that is equals to how much rho value is 5, 5 into minus of cos phi and over the range of 30 degree to 60 degree and that will come as so, uh, root 3 by 2 it will come on. So, it is 5 by 2 and root 3 minus 1. Okay. So, this is the value for CD. So, next segment is what? Next segment is your D to A. Okay. So, I will just do it here. Next segment is 
your d to a or d a segment so for d a segment we will see what is constant for d a segment phi value is constant so this is the d a segment so obviously phi is constant at what value 60 degree so phi is 60 degree and your d l is what simply d rho a rho right so because it is a radius direction rho direction so d rho into a rho again we have to take the rho component of the uh, given vector so integration over d to a okay integration over d to a a dot dl so the rho component of a is rho cos theta sorry rho cos phi and integration with range from phi to 2 so here it is 5 okay this point is 5 for rho and this point is 2 so that's why 5 to 2 remember you should not take 2 to 5 or else you will get wrong answer and uh, integration over d rho so that is equals to cos of how much phi is 60 degree so cos of 60 degree rho square divided by 2 over the range 5 to 2 and this will come as minus 21 by 4 okay now what you have to do we have to add all the result we got so how do we add that so finally so finally i can write integration so integration of closed path line a dot dl is equals to how much first one we got root 3 plus minus root 3 plus 1 second we got 21 root 3 just add all the values okay so that's what i am just adding next we got uh, 5 root 3 by 2 minus 5 by root 3 minus 1 5 into if you remember 5 into root 3 so that's what is coming minus 21 by 4 okay and if you calculate this all the values it will come as 4.941 so this is the answer to the closed path integral next part is what next part we have to prove this with the stokes theorem so how do we do that okay so next part is to prove that with the stokes theorem so what we know according to stokes theorem what is stokes theorem so stokes theorem says that a closed line integral of a vector over dl is equals to surface integral of curl of the vector over the surface okay now what we need to find we need to find the curl of the vector and then just integrate over a surface so curl of the vector are defined del cross a so call uh, uh, call uh, expression is there you may refer that so 1 by rho del of hz by del phi okay minus del of a phi by del z plus a phi del of a rho by del z so this is the call operation in a cylindrical coordinate system i am writing by del rho plus if you have doubt on this you can comment on this i will explain this call expression in some other video so if you have doubt on this just put a comment i will try to solve so i am just writing the expression for the Di uh, sorry call operation in cylindrical coordinate system you can refer to that so that is equals to how much so see we don't have any a z component so that's why it is zero okay now we have a phi component is there you see the expression a phi component is there but there is no z variable is there that's why it is all it will also be zero so the first term is what first term will be zero minus zero into a rho okay because this term is not there and derivative uh, of del del by del z of rho phi component is zero then plus plus what again here a rho component if i take there is no z term is there so that is why it is zero if you and a z component is not there in the expression so that's why it is also zero minus zero a phi okay plus so one by rho is there okay and rho del by del rho of rho into a phi so this expression is there so you'll just get a derivative of rho so you'll get uh, you'll get the value here 1 by rho whole into 1 plus rho so if you take the derivative you'll get this so sin of phi a z so how we are getting so see here a phi so what is the a phi component here so a phi component is your sin phi okay a phi component is only sin phi so that's why the derivative comes as 1 
and sin phi is there and after that second is a rho component so what is the a rho component so a rho component is rho into cos phi okay so rho into cos phi is there so rho is there and uh, uh, divided by del phi so derivative of cos phi comes as sin phi and then plus symbol is there instead of minus derivative of cos is plus so plus phi is there and sin phi can be taken common and it can be written like this okay so this is the expression for the del cross a now what we need to find after this we need to find integration of del cross a over the surface okay now how do you what is the range of the surface obviously it will be a double integral of what double integral of this particular surface the surface created by the closed line so this is equals to and the ranges will be what so range starts from one range is 30 to 60 and one range is 2 to 5 okay so here one range is 30 to 60 for the phi and for the row it is 2 to 5 and integration of what 1 by row okay 1 by row in bracket 1 plus row sin phi and ds so what is the ds here ds is rho um, d rho into rho d phi right so ds is rho into d rho into d phi so for this particular surface so what will be ds ds will be equals to d rho into rho d phi so that's what is not coming okay so it is d rho into rho into d phi okay so that's the integral taken now if i do the double integration here then how we'll get it so integration of 30 to 60 so you can do your own integration uh, as you know so it will be integrated over d phi and the second term will be integrated with the d rho so 1 by rho d rho so what is the d rho or rho 1 by rho was there so this this get cancelled also okay now after this it will be equals to how much minus cos phi of uh, 30 to 60 degree here it will be rho plus rho square divided by 2 and over the range of 2 to 5 and if you calculate this you will get same 27 by 4 root 3 minus 1 so that will be equals to 4.941 so you will get exactly same value ok so that is it from this video and uh, we will meet in the next video with a new problem uh, thank you very much